On February 1st, 1964, Operation Plan 34 Alpha commences. U.S. and South Vietnamese naval forces initiate Operations Plan 34 Alpha, which calls for raids by South Vietnamese commandos operating under American orders against North Vietnamese coastal and island installations. Although American forces were not directly involved in the actual raids, U.S. Navy ships were on station to conduct electronic surveillance and monitor North Vietnamese defense responses under the program called Operation DeSoto Patrols, which were part of Operation 34 Alpha. The top secret program consisting primarily of covert actions against the North Vietnamese. The Soto Patrol Special Ops were U.S. Navy destroyer vessels equipped with mobile van of signals intelligence used for intelligence collection in hostile waters. On August 2nd, 1964, North Vietnamese patrol boats responding to a Operation Plan 34 Alpha attack by South Vietnamese gunboats against the North Vietnamese island attacked the destroyer USS Maddox, which was conducting a DeSoto mission in the area. Fifteen, twenty people together uh, from the Armed Services and Foreign Relations tell them what happened. A good many of them are saying to me, "Right, I've been thinking about this myself, and I thought that uh, they're going to start an investigation yeah. if you don't." Yeah. And yeah. you got Dirksen up there, and he's yeah. saying you got to study it further and say to Mansfield, "Now the president wants us to, you to get the proper people, and we come in, and you say they fired at us. We responded immediately." And we took out one of their boats and put the other two running, and we kept our, we're putting our boats right there, and we're not our running on any. Started to destroy. That's right. right. And we're going to go. And I think I should also, or we should also, at that time, Mr. President, explain this Op Plan 34A, these covert operations. And there's no yeah. question but what that had bearing on. And Friday night, as you probably know, we had four TP boats from Vietnam, manned by Vietnamese or other nationals, uh, attack two islands. And we expended, uh, oh, a thousand rounds of ammunition, one kind or another, against them. Like we probably shot up a radar station and a few other miscellaneous buildings. And, and following 24 hours after that with this destroyer in that same area, undoubtedly led them to connect the two events. Well, say that to Dirksen. I mean, you I notice Dirksen idea. says... This ship is allegedly uh, to be attacked tonight. We don't like to see a change in operation plan of this kind at this time. And we don't think it achieves any any uh, international purpose. So no, certainly no military purpose is served by it. Now this is an action that we might well wish to consider after the second attack. But I think it would be inappropriate, General Wheeler agrees and Dean Rusk agrees, inappropriate to provide the task force commander that authority. There will be ample time for us after a second attack to bring this problem to your attention and you can then decide how far you wish to President, we just had word by telephone from Admiral Sharp that the uh, destroyer is under torpedo attack. I think I might get uh, Dean Rusk and Mac Bundy have him come over here and we'll go over these retaliatory actions and then we ought to I sure think you all agree with that, yeah. And uh, I've got a category here. I'll call it to them. Now, where are these torpedoes coming from? Well, we don't know. Presumably from these unidentified craft that I mentioned to you a moment ago. It seems to me State and we and, and George Reedy ought to agree now on a statement that could be made by one of the departments, I presume, the Pentagon. But before doing that, I wanted to ask your permission to do so. The statement that we would make, I would propose, would simply say that during the night hours, the... The two destroyers were attacked by uh, patrol boats. The attack was driven off. No casualties or damage to the destroyers. We believe uh, uh, several of the patrol boats were sunk. Details won't be available until daylight. That's okay. All right, I'll take I just won't put that out. All right. And after this ghost attack that didn't even happen, the Tonkin Gulf Resolution, officially known as the Southeast Asia Resolution Public Law 88-408, was a joint resolution of the United States Congress, which was passed on August 7, 1964, and paved the way for the United States' involvement further in the Vietnam War.